So th- th- this type of injury uh, and surgery to reconstruct the ligament is is really a, a lifestyle procedure. It's about improving the patient's quality of life. So lots of patients can live without uh, anterior cruciate ligament if it's ruptured. But if you want to play sports or live a very active lifestyle and have stability in the knee, then the surgery is usually indicated. Um, It doesn't actually really matter about age, um, but certainly more younger patients uh, have this type of surgery because they are usually playing more sports and exercising a lot more. But we are frequently doing this operation into older years now. Um, due to be people living more active lifestyles um, into their later years. So it's really down to stability and whether the patient wants an active lifestyle if they should have an ACL reconstruction. Yes, so ACL reconstruction is usually a day case procedure. So the patient comes in on, on that day and goes home the same day with crutches after seeing the physiotherapy team. The procedure usually takes around an hour to an hour and a half and recovery is a few hours um, post that. The, the first few days afterwards are unfortunately swollen and a bit painful and the patient will need painkillers and uh, to ice and elevate the leg regularly. But that swelling and uh, pain gradually resolves and then the patient can start to do physiotherapy after a couple of weeks. The recovery phase is quite long for an ACL reconstruction due to the patient wanting to get back to sport. So it can be anywhere from six months to a year, depending on the exact sport they want to get back to. So if it's just basic uh, running or um, gym work, then it's usually around six months. the patient wants to get back to pivoting sports such as football, rugby, it usually takes at least nine to 12 months to uh, build up your strength and uh, agility and coordination to make sure you're safe to return to those sports. During that time, there are obviously um, lots of physiotherapy sessions and it really does rely on the patient to build up the muscle mass and strength back in their lower legs to allow them to get back to the sports that they want to. From that respect, our our operation is only part of it. It's very much reliant on physiotherapy and the patient's drive and ambition to get back uh, to their normal activity. Yeah, so physiotherapy is key to this type of operation being a success. It's takes several months to uh, build up that strength in the uh, in the leg again because the muscles are actually wasted away due, uh, from the operation due to the swelling and the pain. And it takes several months to build up muscle mass back to pre-injury level. Um, so physiotherapy is key. And as I said, it takes at least six months and usually more like nine to 12 months to get back to competitive sports um, uh, after physiotherapy. Yeah, so in terms of the recovery and what we tell patients, there is no real restrictions on their activity after a sufficient period of rehabilitation. So we are trying to um, achieve their normal activity, and that is one of the main indications for the surgery. But during that six to nine month uh, period, the uh, reconstruction is actually going through a process of uh, strengthening and um, remodeling into a a new ligament. So we have to protect that and make sure that the physiotherapy is performed correctly and that they are as strong as possible before going back to um, sports or activity. But there are no restrictions in the long term in terms of their future um, uh, activity levels. 